Hey there Retro fans, welcome back to RGF Retro Game Force! And if you know this channel, you know that I'm a big fan of the Mega Drive Mini and um, I was happy with the lineup library of games that came up with the Mega Drive Mini. But with the Project Lunar we can add more games into the awesome Mega Drive Mini. So let's check how can we add games to this awesome system right after this. So Project Lunar, Pro Project Lunar is finally out, these guys were trying to uh, exploit the Mega Drive Mini since the beginning, since this device was released and they finally came up with a public beta where you can test uh, a lot of functionalities they added into, into this software and to this hack but today I'm only focusing here into adding games to the Mega Drive Mini and not to play retro arch and also exploit or other functions here on this on this awesome software so i'll leave all the links that you need here on the description below and um, let me explain what i did to add games in my mega drive mini so what you need to do is actually download here um, the installer version or the portable version if you don't want to install it on your OS uh, you select uh, if it's a 32-bit or 64-bit uh, system on your operating system I choose of course the 64-bit installer version which is recommended uh, which is this executable um, that you can see here and in the end you install it and you will end up with this uh, nice icon on your desktop called Project Lunar Desktop which is awesome so click twice and you open actually the the software and what you need to do is do an installation and in this case uh, it says that no console was detected do you wish to start Project Lunar install process? Well, you have to say yes, obviously. And then, would you like to open our interactive how to help guide to allow or show you how to install the Project Lunar? Um, I think in the beginning, uh, it's nice to follow all the steps. So you say yes. So one important thing to mention um, is that the USB cable that came up with the uh, Mega Drive Mini is not working for this for this hack. So you need a cable that actually has the data transfer inside. So normally a phone with a phone you can transfer data. So if you have an old phone with a with a micro USB, you should be okay. Um, they stay here the, the they stated here that the bundle sega cable does not work so very important so um, remove all the cables the first step then you need to make sure that the slide the power is on even if, if there's no cable attached to it then you need to hold down the reset button so you can start the device in the mode that allows you to to install this this uh, software into the device then you connect you plug in the the USB um, and then and then you need you have to make sure that you are pressing the the reset and then you will see after a few seconds that the light on the Mega Drive will blink uh, and after the blink um, it will then be uh, in a mode so that you can release the, the reset button and it will be in the mode that you can install the software. Well, for me, it's very important that you have to make sure when you install the software, the Lunar, the Project Lunar software, that um, the drivers are properly installed. That's one important step. For me, it was really straightforward. It will install immediately the drivers. But what I found difficult was actually to start the Mega Drive Mini in this mode so I, I need to try it several times I thought the problem was on the cable but actually you you have to press the reset button 
until the light this LED blinks but not only that if you have the system the operating system with sound you will hear that something is changed on your OS that the device is detected in a different mode and only after that you can release the reset button then immediately this this software uh, will start to install the the bootloader uh, and and after that it's very simple you see here that um, it will try to install this and uh, it, it does everything alone you don't have to do anything it will reboot so don't be scared it takes around 10 minutes and then you're good to go um, and then after that let me show you how um, how you can install new games into into your Mega Drive Mini so as soon as it's finished the installation of the of the software on the Mega Drive Mini you can open the the game manager open game manager so here it is and you can see already that I add some some ROMs into my Mega Drive some games that I missed on my on my um, Mega Drive Mini and um, let me show you how this works so um, I had a folder already prepared for this we had to select some ROMs by the way, I'm installing the ROMs on the internal uh, NAND flash of, of the device, of the Mega Drive Mini, so I'm not using external uh, USB um, storage that you can use actually, and it seems like you cannot add much games because there are not so much space left here on the Mega Drive Mini, but you can add a couple of them, so I had this ones, and I still have some space left, right, so... Um, interesting but you can add new games by the way the first time you run the uh, game manager you'll be asked to back up back up the the Mega Drive Mini uh, original software you should do it because you never know when something gets corrupt so you hate you need to go to to uh, tools advanced and export backup and here is the look of a, of, of a backup which I did today to make sure if something goes wrong when I'm importing ROMs I always have the backup so I can put the original state to the Mega Drive Mini but uh, let me show you how you can add a game uh, so add game and you see here this is the folder that I show you before and um, you can add um, for example let me check here this Adventures of Batman and Robin is a great game let me add open then you can scrape the images the spine and the box art so you could have really the proper box art and you can use here the screen scraper to so get information of the game now it's connecting to the server and I'm from Europe so I select here the European Union so we have the descriptions the players everything here classic looks good so add game here it is where is it uh, search here Mickey Mania where the game is Ah, here it is the adventures of Batman and Robin so this game is new it's not added so what I needed to do now is sync to push the ROM to the to the flash of the of the Mega Drive Mini so I'll connect say sync Do you want to sync yes sync in process it should not take long because it's only one game so you see 76 it should decrease a little bit of free space 75 uploading 74 and done so I just added Batman and Robin is this simple and it it will look amazing so let's go inside of the Mega Drive Mini to see how it looks so here we are Mega Drive Mini booted in the beginning of the boot by the way you will be asked if you want to to start project lunar if you want to start retroarch or emulation center um, in this video i'm focusing here on the mega drive as it is the mega drive mini uh, ui so here we have some games already um and uh yeah 
you can see here Super Angon, Shinobi, Dick Tracy, Mercs, The Almighty, Truxton, Outrun, The Streets of Rage 1. They are uh, by uh, release date, but also could be uh, A to Z. So you will see, for example, the, all the Sonics and um, Shinobi. Revenge of Shinobi is an R, so yeah, that's why it's not here. And um, yeah, so let's try some of these games. You also have the spines uh, of the games working perfectly, so um, yeah, let's try here the Mega Turrican. Uh, the description is also um, uh, scraped um, from the server, so everything looks correct and looks like they are original originally here on the Sega Mega Drive Mini and uh, yeah it works well I tested I didn't saw any latency um, compared to what we had before and um, yeah plays great Mega Turrican by the way great game and if you hold the start it will bring up the menu as usual you can save four saves as the original um, one thing that I noticed is that the virtual racing doesn't work sadly let's try it out virtual racing and the SVP is not running there's an error the system will reboot in five seconds but it doesn't crash the system in the way that it stays crashed so it reboots and um, it will bring again the menu that I talked to you so RetroArch, Project Lunar and the Emulation Center that other things that you can you can do but not in this video you can um, overclock but in this video I'm focusing here really on the Mega Drive Mini only and uh, it works great it's easy to use and it's only a beta so um, yeah let's give it a try and add more games I'm really happy with this hack finally and um, yeah try it out download it for yourselves and um, enjoy your Mega Drive Mini with your own custom game list so guys thank you very much for watching as usual don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until the next video take care and bye bye